welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And thank you for joining me on this shave. And for this shave, I'm gonna be using this product right here. It releases 10.5 and it's only available from the Wet Shaving Store. It's a collaboration between Frank Schreigold Shave with the Wet Shaving Store and also the first female collaborated soap with One Sharp Sally and Banaka Brunette. So I'm sure you guys know those ladies in the hobby. And so this is, right, took this long for a female collaborated soap. And you know, that's one thing, like I can understand women being scared of maybe, you know, taking a DE razor, switching from a cartridge to DE razor, obviously straight, those are very few and rare, but I have seen those on YouTube, some of them. And, um, but one thing that's always crossed my mind is like, the women, they're missing out. They're missing out on the whole aromatic treatment of all the fabulous soaps that they could be using to shaving their legs, even if they're not quite ready to cross over to a DE razor. They could still use the soap, the splash. I don't know if they'd like to use a splash, but at least the soap, right? So there's a whole whole thing that a lot of ladies are missing out because for whatever reason, you know, it's us dudes who are into this hobby. But that's super cool. Check out that artwork. And this is uh, this soap was inspired by Nectarine Blossom and Honey from Joe Malone. <sighs> scent strength on this, guys, is <sighs> it's a light medium scent. So I would give this a six. This is what the soap looks like. I did scoop some out and press down on it with my finger. Um, Scent notes or scent, what do I get from when I smell this? So I get, I get a very clean, fresh, a very clean, fruity, fresh scent that dries down to a powdery scent. And um, this is a unisex scent, a unisex scent. Um, and me personally, I usually don't like floral scents and things like that. I um, I don't really get the floral, but I know in the scent notes, I'm gonna read the scent notes. I'm gonna read the scent notes from the cologne because I don't have the scent notes from the maker. Like I said, it, it, this gets released in a couple days. And also I wanna say thank you. <laughs> I almost forgot. I wanna say thank you to Andy and Frank. They sent me the soap out to be one of the testers before his release. So thank you they actually i was just i was i assumed it was just gonna be the soap i actually got the splash too so that's really cool i appreciate it i was excited to hear about this soap when i heard about it it's just it's cool you know to when soap makers collaborate with people uh with shavers in the scene so i was really excited and um you know i was looking forward i was looking forward to this release so um i forgot where i was going it is what it is but you know don't don't be scared of the scent you know and i'm traditionally more of like tobacco ooh things like that like you know masculine scents those tend to be my favorite but i love trying all their ones florals personally always have been not my favorite so i'm just being honest but i don't get a strong floral scent so you know i actually i'm digging this i like it it is it is fresh it is clean it is unisex i could definitely see this wearing um in a professional setting for work, things like that, or, you know, um, maybe date night, things like that, where um, you don't wanna go overpowering with a lot of these scents, even though I might be really into tobacco or oud or like one of my goats is maybe, a, you know, is, is, is a soap that not everybody likes, but I absolutely love it. But also that's not one I'm gonna reach to, even though it is my favorite of all time, if I'm going out into like, you know, certain situations. This one, is definitely one I can pick up and wear. And I'm enjoying it, man. I can't wait to smell that splash. Like I said, it, it, it's, it's lightly, it's light, light medium scent on the six strength. So Joe Malone, I'll keep holding this up because you guys, you guys have something to look at. So um, it is a floral, fruity gourmand fragrance for women and men. Nectarine Blossom and Honey was launched in 2005. The nose behind the fragrance is blah, blah, blah. We'll get to the scent notes. The top notes are the top are green notes, black currant and petite green. Middle notes are nectarine and black locust. Base notes are peach, plum, and vetiver. So on Fragnetica, that's the site I'm on, it comes off as fruity, sweet, green, powdery, fresh, white floral scent. And like I said, 
what I get from smelling this, I get it. I do. I get clean, fresh, but not fruity, but not overwhelmingly fruity where you just pick up those notes and it just dries down to a fresh, clean, powdery scent. So that's, this is really nice. I, I'm going to see, I, I know a lot of people are really going to love this one. Let me get into the shave with it because my lather has been sitting here for like 15 minutes. So here it is all whipped up in the bowl, Cayenne Workshop bowl, smiles for miles brush. You guys know how I roll. And Shrike Gold, if you, you guys already know, is definitely one of my top favorite companies to use. Always enjoy Frank's stuff and the quality of his base and lather. What base this is in? I don't know. I know, you know, it was the Patriot base and when he released Tipper Canoe, he switched over to a more, a new, cheaper, cost-wise cheaper um, base. And I don't remember or know, but great. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's just great. It's good stuff, great stuff, right? That's awesome. Congratulations to Banaka and One Sharp Sally on getting to collaborate and have a soap made for you girls because, right, that, that, that's awesome. Who, who wouldn't want that, right? So here we go. So congratulations once again. So I'm gonna be taking my time with this razor. I've been using this one exclusively since I got it rehoned. And 50% um, of the time it has kissed me. <laughs> and it's always this left side for some reason. But so far, I'm in the green because it's always in that sideburn area. I get kissed, but this thing was sharp, so it takes off every little bump and blemish. And I think I'm just uh, hitting blemishes. I've been having them a lot lately. There's that tip, that Spanish point that I absolutely think is absolutely beautiful. Looks very badass to me. My first custom razor, which I no longer have though, but um, was a Spanish point like this. And it classics, no, no, it's not the classic. This is just a Spanish point. Um, and believe it or not, I went with that razor and that design like only three months into using a straight razor. All right, so I'm done with the first pass. Scent strength still stays the same. Sometimes there's some soaps that I do notice um, open up a little more and um, the scent strength seems to pop a little bit more once it's lathered, but lathered up, it still remains the same. Like I said, like a light medium, about a six, I would give it if that number reference can um, makes any sense to you. I'm going in for the second pass. Just painting this stuff on.
All right, we're gonna go with that. There we go. <laughs> and here we go, second pass. So like I said, this soap releases 10-5. Today's Monday filming. This video will be up in a couple hours. Um, one thing I noticed about my with YouTube and the videos I upload is that like with for the first so many hours after it's uploaded, even though it might be filmed in 1080, that's what I'm doing right now, 1080p. Uh the quality does not look lit. Look, it looks like 720, even if that. I don't know if that happens to everybody else, but usually after a few hours of it being up, the quality of it looks better. So sometimes I try to, recently at least, I try to, um, I'll upload it, but I won't promote it for a few hours just so it uh that resolution gets better oh, clean that a little better So now here we go. Third pass. I tasted that. <laughs> Third and final pass. Just the right amount of lather left over for the shave. Fish shape, guys. hair it's got a little too close to my goatee two to be exact so it really was a couple <laughs> I'm getting, I've got all, I got all kinds of lava here, guys. It was all over my towel. I'm touching my hand now. Let me, uh, let me fold this, clean this a little bit. Less lava, I gotta clean off this blade as well. Again, I touched it. Ah, <laughs> try to clean my fingers. You know. All right, here we go. My favorite pass. It's just the most satisfying to me. You hear me say it every time. Uh, 
All right, and that's it. That will be good. Uh, let me rinse off. Squeeze out what's in my knot. You guys can see the beautiful lather that is left behind. off the face. <sighs> Let's go in with that splash, the cherry on top of that shave. Give it a nice shake. Positive. It separates, you gotta shake it, mix it all back up. I get actually, from the aftershave, I could smell more of that honey. I didn't read in the ingredients, but I know it's in the name, so maybe the combination of some of those scent notes mimics that of honey, but that sweetness, I smell the plum a little bit more. That is nice. That's really good, actually. I actually like this a lot. <laughs> Just a little bit more for the aroma. This is definitely nice. Do not be scared because it is a unisex scent and it was collaborated by two ladies because definitely us men can enjoy this scent as well. All right, so thank you for watching. Support those ladies and Frank and Andy, and buy that soap, guys. I'll see you guys.